Right. Come on. One. Yeah. Come on. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. This is Steve Kukolo, Lou Marrera, and Allison Fran. We hit some back today. It's the Christmas holiday. We are the gym to ourselves. It's Saturday night. Um, you know, nobody likes to train on Saturday night. They got to get the either club pump or you know, no workout at all. But we got the diehards in here, just a couple people, and uh, it was good to have the gym to ourselves. Um, so tonight we hit back. We kind of planned this one. Um, I was off work, so it was able to do our, our group workout session with Big Lou and, and Allie and uh, Allison pretty much put together a lot of our, our workout today. Uh, she's good at coming up with new things and uh, ways to make it harder. And, you know, uh, it's Big Lou's thing, he always likes to make it harder. <laughs> so today we, um, uh, we started with a superset. Uh, you know, I'll have Allison tell you a little bit about how she likes to superset certain things, but uh, we did a, a, a pull, like a row, supersetted with a pull up, um, and I'll have her explain, you know, the reason behind that and kind of go into a little bit of detail on that. But we went pretty heavy, and, and going from a bent over row to a pull up is not the easiest thing because your back's already fried as you go right to the pull up. So really, there's no crazy reason for it. It's simple, you know, just targeting your your back from different angles. Um, I like to superset because it just keeps your, your back under that constant tension um, but without fatiguing like one particular area so that we don't um, get too much of a, you know, a, a, a ten, time under tension for one area because you just exhaust it. So by doing two different exercises you can keep the time under tension for a longer period of time. Yeah. Let's sit on it. Bring that chest up from the very top, kind of round, arch, arch hard. Get all that back fire. Yeah. Seated row where we pulled it a little bit closer to our belly button. I like this. Come on. Oh. 
of the lat pull down, you know, hitting your the upper part of the lat um, with the top portion, and then holding it close to your chest, and then full range to get that full range of uh, motion to get the, you know, the the lat working through all different ranges again to just to stimulate fibers and get our backs growing as much as we possibly can, which is something that I'm constantly working towards. They they kind of work on it a little bit too. But. <laughs> um, training with people like. Training with Allison and Lou and Dan and Al, I've trained with a bunch of different people, but you know, we all train together. We all have, you know, a, a similar strength and weaknesses, but uh, you know, Lou is incredibly strong you know, and, and Allison's a freak for her size and, and training with people that are strong and push you, it, for me, is, is something that just keeps me, you know, hungry and driving in the gym and, and just kind of keeping up with these guys, you know. they. I know sometimes you know they, they try to keep up with me, but at the same time I try to keep up with them. So having a good training partner is is a, a great tool to have uh, when doing you know heavy lifts like you know legs, back, chest. I mean those are those are some some tough days, and having a good training partner is huge. So um, I gotta add, it's a lot of fun. We crack a lot of jokes, but uh, each and every one of them. They all have that switch when it's your turn to do a set. It's all it's all or nothing. And then uh, when you're done, you support the next person. And there's always rooms in, room in there for jokes, which is great. And again, with Allison, being a female, doesn't mean gender doesn't matter. She trains hard, <laughs> pound for pound, she's strong. And uh, I've been pretty sore the last couple of weeks. <laughs> yeah, we um, we trained legs pretty heavy yesterday, uh, Lou and I. And um, so we felt that I've been over rows. Um, typically, we don't like to do a lot of uh, movements or that would would correlate some body parts together. You do in bent over rows, but we felt pretty good today. And even though we're a little sore in our, our lower body, uh, uh, we felt strong and, and had some some pretty good good lifts. And um, it's just keeping things changed up and, and switching things every few weeks. You know, we, we I went to a, a lower rep for a few weeks ago. Was doing some low rep. Uh, movements and now we're kind of up with the reps just a little bit doing incorporating a little more volume again just to kind of continue to round out fill out as much as I can uh, being starting you know in my off season now starting transition in a few weeks into more pre-contest type training uh, still trying to grow I mean, my weight's starting to go up I'm high 280s right now I'm going to try to creep up in the 290s and just keep growing as I go into uh, contest prep season so excited to you know get on stage in 2014. We're winding down 2013. It's crazy how this year flew by. Sure. You know, Lou's going to be getting. What are you going to get ready for next? Just make improvements. Make improvements. No set goals for Lou, but you know, it's it's. No set shows. Only no, set goals. No, nothing, on no set show. nothing on the calendar. Nothing on the calendar. Allison, right. she got um, accepted because it's the invitation to the Arnold uh, International, which is a huge accomplishment. So, congrats right. on Thank that. You. And um, yeah, I will be there. But you know we got a few more days to film um, coming up, and looking forward to it, guys. So thanks for coming out, Muscular Development. We got Allison Fran, Big Lou, and Steve Kuklo here with the Christmas holiday back special.